Now, today in the shop, and actually it's not today, it's two days. This video spans over two days. We had two visits, one from Vlad where we had to work out the future parts of the MV restoration and the matching paint. And Luciano stopped by to pick up some parts for his FZR restoration. He has exactly the same bike I already have. And I have a lot of spare parts and we're going to share them. Now today, before I actually plan out the day, I have to check in with Vlad. He's got some MV Augusta parts. The, I think it's the belly pan that he wants to silver match. I don't know if he's got it yet. I don't know because he hasn't checked in with me yet. Once he checks in, I can make a plan. We've got a lot of projects underway here. Most of the BMW has already been delivered. And for people that have followed this right from V1, the V designation is always Vlad's projects. And right at this point, we're going to be, we're only a day or two away from finishing, buffing out the Buell, getting that one out of here. And then possibly this MV Augusta. And then the last thing, and I don't know, there's still parts coming from Italy, the Moto Guzzi Daytona. So every day is an adventure and every day is different here in the shop. Okay, is anybody hungry today? You're always hungry. At this time of year, Karen's garden, even though this is a rainy day, Karen's garden is starting to turn green. And our favorite, our wisteria, wow, come into full bloom. And of course, the fish are already out of hibernation. And they are eating. They never stop eating, they're like me. Again, it's complicated doing all these projects, but this is the silver we're trying to match for the MV Augusta. And again, I don't know if Vlad's going to be able to make it today. Either way, we're going to do some work on this project. And we've got one of these parts buffed, one ready to buff. These, the side fairings, that's a giant job getting those detailed out, detail sanded. And this was a monster job getting that carbon fiber tank cover. And we want to get all of it done before we even consider starting the Moto Guzzi project. Well, I don't know. what do you got to dust them off like he's yeah, a, yeah, like okay. he's a mop? Yeah. Tell him to get a haircut too. He's a, how close, realistically, how close do you think you're going to get it? And by the way, that water-based paint, please take it home before right. Miles takes a drink of it. That's poison. Did you read the label? What? The, like the other paint? Is the same, the it's other better than better than Imran. Oh my God! Put it on. Look. Do you understand how this works? Go look at a Chevy dealer at a Camaro, one of the green Camaros, where the two doors meet is a little bit of an angle. They always look like the paint though does, does not match. <laughs> but I don't know how much closer than that you can get. Can yeah. we get the guy to scan it? You can go over there tomorrow. He's open, not open now. No, I know. Can we get it? You could get him, get another part and try it. I'd you leave the same part. But what I'll do, I'll paint half of it. Yeah. And you could look side by side. Yeah, let's do that. All right, okay. come over tomorrow. I um, can't come, come tomorrow. Well, I'll be over, here Friday. well, whatever day you're going to be here. Okay, so you're right. going to just now. Is this is the part you want to paint. Is he open Saturday? Saturday till noon. Okay. You got this all man. Who masked this yeah, off? Yeah, the guy that fucked. Joe Schmo? Yeah, Joe Schmo. Okay. You I'm know. not going to remask it. No, don't remask it. He understands simple thing. The scratch was on the bottom, right here. Yeah. Right here was the scratch. I told the guy, can you blend it in right here? Oh, yeah. The next day I come in. He's like, why did you have to do this? Oh, it didn't match. I said, I, did, I don't want you to go over here. I just want you to do it. Well, what's like, going to happen? You're going to have a paint edge here. It's going to look terrible if he didn't do it. And if I do it, it's going to be worse because he already did it. You're back. You did you're, what? There's a nut. Look, the paint is coming here. Here's the tape. There's an edge to okay, where the so tape is. What do you is. want to do? You no, want, nothing. You want to no. retape it? No, 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 no. You, you, you retape it. I'll tell you why. You retape I don't want it. To retape <laughs> shit. You create no, I'm trying to explain to you. When you do this, it's better off if you don't have your best friend and then paint over it. That's no, the worst it wasn't thing. Paint. He took the paint off. The paint is off. This has already been painted. Yeah, There's an edge. It's the edge that's the problem. Yeah, so You're going to see when we take this okay. apart. I'm going to give it to you in silver. I know. Now, what do you want me to do? You want me to paint this silver yeah. when we get the good paint. Correct. Let's get this down. Yeah. Yeah. The, paint it to match the, the Augusta. Then you're going to come over here. You sure you can't use this paint? No. Uh, well, don't What's even. What's wrong with don't, it? Is don't that, even. Read me the label. This one, right? Causes birth defects. Toxic. Are Read you, it. Read it. I'm not kidding. Are you going to have any kids? I don't even want the thing in my shop. 
That's like electric cause. They don't want to know about the chemicals that go in there. Read the chemicals. I know about chem. I'm a chemist. Come on, read it. Yeah. Oh, no, hey, yeah you cool. give this your worst enemy, right? You you don't want your competitor at work. Give him a drink at it it's with because vodka. This. And it doesn't match anyway. So what's the difference? Uh, it probably matches because the guy couldn't paint it right. Oh. Is this water-based paint over here? Yeah. Oh my God! And I, I took it down. I told. Oh, I, 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 there's an adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an adventure. I know it. This is a better match. No, it's not. It is. Look. It's not a better match. Trust me. Pick the part up. I want to show you something. Do you see what this is? There's no flakes in this. This is silver paste. Right. This is paste. That's what this is. But right. but the way you change the color. Look, where it's light hitting it, now there's no light hitting it. it and where it's light hitting it, it's light. Now it's dark. It's light. It's dark. What color is it? And these silly things, look at how they did this. This and a white, you almost can't see it. You look at it, it kind of disappears. Know, this should be black or red or something. Good thing you got this bike for free. Yeah. <laughs> you and Luciano, these $300 bikes. Oh, my God. This is, it's, it's very difficult to do that. This is a good match. That's not a good match. Look. It's terrible. What are you doing? I put it out. Go put, there's no sun now. Go put it out in the sun. I'm putting it here. That's what I'm saying. So Vlad and his friend left, but I was trying to explain because this is something I think most people would want to know. Is this edge of this tape, no matter how careful you do it, you can be as careful. And Vlad's going to find out when we go to take this tape off, that edge is not going to be perfect like it would be if you put a sticker on top. And because he's so critical about this, and I'm not going to go back and retape this, that's for sure. It make it even worse. Then you have two extra tape lines. So... At least we got this. We don't have the paint yet. Parts for the other project are coming from Italy or from somewhere. Who the hell knows Uzbekistan? But and this part I can't work on. So we're. This is funny. We're between a rock and a hard place here. Now the only thing left, somewhere down the road, I can. Well, this is one. That part has to be buffed yet. I'm trying to make out a schedule. And uh, and the fairings. And that's about it. But with the good news is, Luciano may be coming over here. He's going to pick up a set of forks for his FZR. We'll see him if he gets here later. I don't know if he's even going to come today. So it's a bright new day here, and the birds want to know if Luciano's coming over for breakfast. He is coming over to get some parts for his FZR this morning. Luckily, I happen to have exactly what he needs. So this is pretty funny. I always say, it's these are my two-part bikes. And it looks like what's going to happen is my FZR is going to become Luciano's parts bike. Now, he just got the same bike, and it needs forks. There's some damage, some stripped parts inside the forks. But I happen to have a set that Pokey got me. Now, one is bent. I put the good ones on the FZR when I did the restoration. One of these is bent badly. One is bent, mm, we don't know, but they both travel the, the full length of travel. So Luciano's going to stop by and use my FZR part supply. That's what's nice about the A-Team. We, we all tend to do this with each other, and today it'll work out good for Luciano. So while I'm waiting for Luciano to get here, I wanted to explain, because a lot of people not real familiar with this, what this is is ordinary masking tape. This is not fine line tape, and the edge of this tape, what's going to happen, and I know it's going to happen, Maybe not as bad as a, you know, as I say it is, but it's going to happen. It's not going to be a perfect edge. So I try to think of another thing, another possibility. Now, I don't know if Vlad can get these stickers from MV, the decals. I don't know if that's possible. But if all else fails and this doesn't come out the way we want it to, even after we paint the matching, hopefully we're going to go to Gavin's. We're going to get matching paint. We'll see how that works out. And if these edges don't come out okay, the only other choice is going to be to sand these smooth, sand them off. I don't think they'll come off with a heat gun because there's paint on top of them now. And sand this all smooth, and then we'll have to re-silver it and then put new stickers on. But I don't know if he can get these stickers. See, this is the thing. When you do an exotic bike, getting the parts is a giant part of the job. If you're doing a Yamaha, 
you go online or a Honda or something, and everybody's got the parts. These exotic bikes that Vlad collects, <laughs> getting the parts is a nightmare. But I don't know how that's going to play out. Now, just, I thought this would be good information. The next time we do a job like this, where I have, I have paint edges, I'm going to try to show some of the tricks you can do to make them better. And see what I'm doing right now with my fingernail. I'm running my nail along the edge of the tape. That'll make it a little bit better. Not a lot. Because this really should be fine line tape. It shouldn't be this, this ordinary masking tape. And where it's bent around corners, mm. <laughs> But again, <laughs> we don't have much of a choice. And that information is going to be coming up on the video when we, Vlad is going to be the one to pull those stickers off. Because he's got to make a decision. Does he want to go back and get the stickers? And that is always the problem. How, when you want high quality work, how high quality? And how much are you willing to pay in terms of effort, money, time? And the, ultimately, this is part of one of the bikes he really treasures. So all these collector bikes, it's, it's wonderful when it's done. But boy, getting it done can be a problem. Anyway, I'm going to go get the coffee started. Luciano's already left his house. You can show this to Luciano when he gets here. So Karen's latest thing, she's crocheting while I'm grinding away at parts and trying to find paint that matches and doing three rest or four restorations. How many how many stitches did you do? It's, oh, I don't know. Holy mackerel. She's been, how long have you been working on this? About six weeks. Wow. Wow, that's unbelievable. I'm getting there. I'm almost done. Almost done. Not very close, it's a cloudy day, you don't even really see it, but the wisteria is coming into full bloom here. Hey, you were here when they jumped out of the pond, do you remember? <laughs> that was good. Come on, I'll show you those forks I got. This. I'll give you the two discs I have. I have two extra ones. You got two extra ones? I got two, I set, sure. I bought new ones for my, for when I did the restoration. Oh, you did? Um, well, they're better than this. How much you pay? 490 bucks for two. 490. That was deal of price. Was EBC? EBC, yeah. Which one? Uh, this is the one you need. This is the good one. This is the this one is that's bent. bent. Yeah, but it's not bent, so put it on the ground and, and go through the cycle. This is bent too. This is the bad one. Yeah. But you can take the parts out of here. You can't, can't you take, you got the thing that's not. The, I got the manual too, how to take it apart. I know how to take it apart. They just can't put the spring back. Why can't you put the spring back? <laughs> it's very hard. Are you going to compress the spring? I'll come over. Okay. The, road, the rod goes through. The rod gets screwed there. Okay. And the top part gets screwed to the valve. Okay. And where is it stripped? Down in the... Here. It's stripped up here. Yeah. So, but yeah, what I'm saying, if we took these apart, that's not the problem. The problem is you got to have the compressor, to, the spring compressor, to push this back in. Mm -hmm. am, am I right or wrong? Yeah. Okay, so what does the compressor, what does the factory tool look like? What I'm saying, I we have... could make one. <laughs> I got threaded rod. That's okay. The one with the tang is the left one. The, 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 that's the way you're going to, you only need the left one, right? Right. Okay, well, you could still paint it, right? Who cares if you... Uh, listen, I got a two side cover. A Santi goes uh, on top between the, the tails, the, the two side covers. It's missing. It's missing. It's like a... Something like this one. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have that part because this uh, one has the solo seat. This is the history. Something like you see the top. Oh, where the tail light is? So I end up buying one. Um, an eBay it came from Germany. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It wasn't that cheap. It wasn't that cheap. It doesn't fit. It totally did not ah. It doesn't fit. I was so freaking pissed. What's well, nice having a donor bike. He comes over, he's going to use my bike for a Christmas tree. You need an engine mount? No. There goes my engine there mount. Two engine, <laughs> mount. two engine mount on the, on the motor, but they're supposed to go a big long bolt. There's a nutty there. There's no bolt on yours or on mine? Nothing. It's just uh, empty. Oh. <laughs> if you need to put, this is the old Ferrari seat, they make a little tail light and yeah. we'll make we'll make a custom... Uh, yeah, I can cut the the, 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 the part with the, to use the original tail light. I can put something aftermarket. Okay, I may even have one of those spare tail lights. I'll have to take a look. Yeah. I'm glad you can use these parts because, uh, you know, 
if, if we could ride the two FCRs and somewhere we'll get, we'll have a race or whatever. This is the seat that came with the bike? Yeah, this is the one that came when we bought the bike. Then why you end up buying another one? Because I wanted a new one. <laughs> Yours is a 91? Yeah. Remember the guy told, uh, he sent me an email, this is not a 91, it's got the curved radiator. But I don't know, because we don't know what the guy did to it. They probably change it, they change the parts or whatever. Yeah, it. yeah, when you buy a bike for a very, almost no money, it's a who a, knows? It's a postable sticker, as a, uh, or the lettering are removed. That's two sets of spare carbon. I you do, bought one, remember? I when, don't need to call, I need just one set. Okay, but just take them, keep them all together. Because I got the jets too, you want the jets? I got I the whole box the of jets. jets. No. Okay, when we bought the bike, you bought a spare, you yeah, bought, for me. These are the ones that came off the bike. Okay. So one of them leaks, but I don't know which one. What leaks? The carb, it was leaking in your garage. Yeah, where, remember? where they leak? Hey, you know, it would have been easier if you just brought the bike over here and we switched parts over here. <laughs> you got forks, you got a seat, you got a fairing, uh, and carbs. I know, I got, I'll get the discs from the seller. But I'm glad these parts are finding a good home. Yeah. And when do you think you'll have this restoration done? Oh, God. <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> oh, God. No, we're anodized. This oh, will come this, right off. This is brand new. They're brand new. What? I don't yeah. give you shit. Yeah. Yeah, you could have, that's FCR stuff. These are better than yours. Oh my god. By, yes. by night and day they're better. My god. And you'll love the price. What's the price? Look, look, do you or anybody else in the house, they have brake discs for, for uh, decorations. Look at the decoration, brake discs. Hey, we got brake discs on the kitchen table. Sprockets, yeah. Oh, sprockets. Oh my god. They look good. These are in good shape. Why are you replace this? So for the last two days, we really didn't get a lot done on the uh, on Vlad's projects, and we still have to buff out the Buell. But this MV Augusta, this silver belly paint is going to eat up a lot of time because we have to go get special paint, get it custom mixed. I don't know where that's going to go, but the point that I wanted to make is on every restoration, every re every one of these bikes is different, and every one was a different adventure. Now there was a time. When I had gotten this, and Luciano, actually he bought that set of carburetors which, in the beginning, because the ones we had were no good. And he did a lot of work on this bike. Now I'm very happy that I can help him. I gave him some fiberglass parts and discs and carbs and jet kits or whatever else he had there. But, but that's the whole point. That's why motorcycling, to me, is a very special, very special sport or hobby, whatever you consider it. Because the friendships that you make among your friends, especially when you work together on projects, Vlad and I work together on projects, Glenn and I work, Luciano, Mark, Morgan, Vince, by doing that we, we have made a special friendship that used to be called the A-Team, now it's kind of disintegrated, but on a day like today it reminds me of the A-Team when we all used to be exchanging parts and favors and working on each other's bikes and I'm so glad I had the videos of those days that we had up at the late Bob Navola's house. It's it's a very special thing. Now, tomorrow we'll get started on doing some more work on the projects or whatever comes our way. But right now, uh, I'm looking back at two days and they had a lot of good memories. And I'm just thinking how, how special it is to have such good friends in motorcycling. Now, another point is when you're restoring an old motorcycle, it's great if you have a parts bike. And it's even better if your friend has one. And he's got a bunch of spare parts. But the point is, you, whenever you do a restoration, you always need parts. And now what we're finding out with Vlad's bike with this silver paint and all this toxic water-based crap that they, they he's got, we're finding out it isn't as easy as it, we thought it was going to be to get that silver to match. And I know, I know silver is an extremely difficult color to match, so we're going to see where that goes. In the meantime, we're coming up on a riding season, and a little by little, I'm going to have to allocate time to finishing up the Buell project as soon as possible. I want to start riding the bikes on a regular basis, all seven of them, and I've got some of them cleaned up and some not. And so from this point on in the V series of videos, it's going to get pretty eclectic. But we do want to finish up the Buell project, and it'll be interesting to see. Now, Gavin's made the the paint that's on my FCR mixed it, matched it. It was perfect. Silver, mm, boy, it's a it's a job, and and mixing and matching paint is an art unto itself. 
But anyway, and just knowing that we still have the, the fragments of the A-team around and still can dip into a bucket of tricks and come up with some tricks for getting Vlad rescued from the, these problems that he has. And Luciano, we're, we're going to try to get up to his house and see this FCR project. He got this bike real cheap, and I know it needs a lot of work. But I know one thing, when he's done with it, it'll be perfect. He is a tenacious guy. I have a lot of respect for him. So I hope you did enjoy the video. We post something up every day and almost every day. And we'll see you tomorrow.